Hey there everybody and welcome. In this tutorial today we are going to talk a little bit about one of my favorite hidden tools called Motion Sketch in Adobe After Effects. Motion Sketch is a great way for you to actually trace your mouse or your tablet movement to capture keyframe data on your timeline. So let's go ahead and get started. If we were to animate this little astronaut alien kind of character it would be rather cumbersome. We'd have to go to our positions, set multiple keyframes, and it could take a while. But instead, we're gonna use Motion Sketch. And you can find Motion, motion Sketch by going to Window, Motion Sketch to open this panel. Here, you'll have capture speed, smoothing, and different methods, which I'll play with each of the wireframe and background methods, as well as where you start and finish. Now, depending on where your cursor is, that is where you'll start your capture. But I'm gonna put mine to zero and just show you right off the bat how easy this is. Once you hit start capture, it says click to begin capture. We're gonna basically click on our astronaut and draw a path. Now again, if you have a tablet, this could be a lot smoother. But you'll notice what it did is add all these keyframes in the time that I traced that. It also incorporated the timing and spacing with that as well. Now, one major thing you'll see off the bat is it's pretty choppy. So it worked, but it's not exactly what we want. So let's control Z and undo that. And let's go back to our motion sketch panel and try that again. So now that we have our motion sketch panel ready to go, we'll go back to motion sketch. I'm gonna go ahead now and make my smoothing. So you saw all those keyframes. If I ramp this up to about 25 or 30, that's going to give me less keyframes, but also auto bezier them. So if I hit start capture now, and I draw that look, you can see I have really nice keyframes. And I have a few little points I need to play around with, but overall it's looking really good. Now, if I wanna clean these up, I just go and delete some keyframes. I can use my pen tool, I can hold my alt key down here just to play with those Beziers. And, you know, long story short, this is a lot easier, uh, at least for me, to kind of visualize data right away. So again, I can kind of play around with some of the settings here. Maybe we'll delete that keyframe. This is looking pretty good. Maybe we'll delete this initial keyframe and just pull our Bezier out here and then hit spacebar one more time. Now we have a lot smoother motion. We could go and add rotation and whatnot. Now the wireframe mode, like you saw, is essentially a way to capture just that path. So it kind of hid everything else. But you can use motion sketch for another method. And this is actually really cool if you wanna capture somebody's handwriting. So we all know, uh, maybe you don't know, the stroke technique. So the stroke technique is essentially when you have a layer, you would sit and trace that layer, I'm doing this roughly on purpose, and go to Effect Generate Stroke. And this can be really cumbersome when you have a lot of letters and you're trying to kind of mask out and match up. It can be a real pain uh, to do this. So what I'm gonna do is instead of tracing this kind of letter form, I'm gonna use the motion uh, sketch technique to do so. So it's real easy, instead of wireframe, I'm gonna now do background. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm on my letter and I'm gonna do start capture. And if I sketch this, you're gonna see that I can just kind of stay within the lines. It's actually going to draw a path. Now, what it didn't do though, is draw a mask, which we needed. So how do we get that mask on that path? Well, it's gonna be one more layer. So I'm gonna to go to layer new and I'm gonna add a null object. I'm going to then do the motion sketch on that layer. So make sure it's set to background, hit start capture, and it doesn't matter your timing. So again, I know the play bar is playing, but you can take as much time as you need. Give yourself some time on your composition. We're just getting that path. And now that we have this on the null, and if I hit U to see what I keyframed, you'll notice I have all these keyframes ready to go right, it matches perfectly, I can actually put these on our text layer. So I'm gonna really quickly run a pre-compose. So again, pre-compose is just putting that layer in a composition and it will not work unless you pre-compose it. 
and then I'm going to just add a mask. So I'm gonna just do one point, doesn't matter where you put it. Hit the M key to open your mask path, and I'm gonna copy those keyframes from the null and control B and paste them, and it doesn't look like anything happened, but it did paste that mask path on that character. So now I can actually delete that null, and you'll see in my mask, I'm good to go. Now I can go to Effect Generate, and again, imagine this with a really long piece of text that you need to animate, and I can set this to Mask 1. We'll change our color to red just so you can see it. Open up that brush size, scale it up. You know, we can still move these little points if we're overshooting, and then set it to Reveal Original Image, and sure enough, playing with our start and end, we now have a beautiful stroke path. And that was done using Motion Sketch. So your ability to use Motion Sketch for all of your animations can be to animate assets, animate handwriting, follow along a path that's complex that you didn't want to set thousands of keyframes for manually. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and incorporate Motion Sketch into your workflow. Thanks, everybody.